All right, you guys, episode nine, Tomboy's Heart. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Recap, 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 you guys. Hi, baby. Mm, give me some kisses. Give me some kisses. Give me some kisses. Can you give me some kisses? No. Nah, I kissed you anyway. Thank you, bum. Okay. Books, all their faces. I'm back from the football team. Of course, I was thinking that. Answer. No, you're not doing that here. Not in my library. God, I sound like that. No. <laughs> they didn't listen and continued their punches flying everywhere. I didn't want to step in either. Does it look like I want to die? Stop. Again, they didn't listen. I'm not surprised. Guys, stop. I had no choice. Well, you gotta launch one of them fucking books that they fucking hit. If somebody said they had shit. I got in the middle of them and punched by Alex. Oh, what? Punched Alex. Away. You better watch it, Hudson. Try me, Parker. What the hell are you doing? You're so stupid, I swear. Need a girl to calm you down, Parker? I'm sorry, but please point me to where I asked for your opinion. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Get out of the way, Carter, so I can punch this idiot. No, you're not going to be doing that. You're going to help me with the with the books. You got saved this time, Hudson. He left by pushing my shoulder with his. He then pushed the dude's shoulder out of his way. Who's going to help me with the books now? I'll just ask Edna. Hey, Edna, can you help me with the books? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. <clears throat> Edna about to uh, stress my motherfucking ass out, of course. Edna, you dyed your hair again. It was just like two hours ago, Edna. Pretty right. I, uh, Edna, you look like a goddamn fool. Kids don't understand these da- styles these days. <laughs> After school, I decided to visit Lucas. I visited... I invited Xavier since he wanted to come along. We didn't uh, come together, but we came at the same time. <clears throat> oh, why are you here, Xavier? Nice to see you too, Alex. Ask why, Alex. The question is, why are you even here? And Lucas, why are you even standing? Relax, I'm feeling a lot better. How's it going, Xavier? Pretty good. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't. I don't really care how you're doing. Can you stop being like that? You're getting really annoying. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Anyways, I bought some cake. So did I. Alex, you didn't bring cake. Shh, play along. Oh, really? You bought something? Absolutely. It's in the freaking fridge. Oh, it's in the fridge. Okay, let me see then. The only thing in here is potato. <laughs> what game are you playing here, Alex? I'm not playing any games. Oh, girl. You're real angry, girl. Stop trying to get attention and just eat the damn cake I bought. I think I'll leave, actually. Hope you have a great day. Mm-hmm. And you have to know that this is a delicious... And I'll, and I'll have you know that this is a delicious potato. <laughs> He grabbed the potato out of the fridge and shoved it inside his pocket. Then went out the door swiftly. Oh, Alex. Why did he get so mad when you got here? Um, It's fine, though. I got this. Just be careful. He's a little possessive around people when he's mad. I got this. Hi. I'm Xavier.
<laughs> Alex's brother. I don't like you. Oh, 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 okay. Wait, you idiot. Wow, you're you're a fast walker. What do you want? Come to make me eat some of Xavier's cake. I don't know what got into you, but I don't like it. Oh, please, Dad. Leave me alone. <sighs> he is so irritating. I just want to... Can you just punch him, please? Oh, my God. Slow down. What do you want? Stop following me. How about we talk about your feelings? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not good with feelings. Wait, are you having... Oh, wait, are they having a sale on cakes? Your fat ass. You didn't follow him all the way out here. <laughs> you didn't move. This isn't a pizza place. Sorry, dude. The girl wants her cake. <laughs> Why are you crying? The cakes. What about them? They're so beautiful. They're jumbo size. <laughs> what would you like to order? Uh, let's go with the chocolate. Chocolate cake, please. That'd be $15, please. What? I thought there would be like $5. Get us two of those, please. Be right up. What the? F you didn't have to do that. I was going to leave it. Don't be so fat. I bought one for Lucas. I'm totally going to be at Xavier's cake. He is irritating. Why are you? What are you? Why? Why are you fighting over? I think I still think they say why are you guys fighting or some shit like that or not. Reasons. This boy is getting more confusing by the minute. Shit. Guess who bought cake? Good. The one Xavier bought was nasty. Shut your mouth, Lucas. Only speaking the truth. Why are you doing this, Alex? Sweet, innocent Alex doesn't do anything. You've been doing all of this stuff for no reason. How will you even possibly know that? You're my brother, you idiot. You're an ass. I'm telling mom and dad. Both of you stop. God damn. Shit. Yeah, Xavier, you need to stop. She was talking to both of us. Seriously, stop. You know what? I'm leaving. I'll catch you tomorrow, Carter. Grow up, Alex. I don't understand why you dislike your brother so much. He's so sweet. But you keep coming at him with your dumbass comments. All you do is talk about him. He's not that great. It's true, Carter. I don't like him. He's a little too nice. I like Alex. <laughs> you two look great. Nobody asked for your opinion, Lucas. Take a chill pill. <laughs> Are you jealous of him or something? Of course not. I think you need to go. Whatever, Carter. How many more rats am I going to see on the street tonight? I was tumbling, uh, I was, oh, see, I see a tumbling figure coming my way. It looks oddly familiar. Please don't be him. Please don't be him. <sighs> Do you know what the nearest bar is? What the fuck? No. Don't let this be my turn. Can you direct me to it? I could smell the alcohol in his breath and his clothes. Freaking dumbass, you got wasted. Now I have to take you to my house, don't I? I don't remember the direction you came. Directions to your home. I don't remember the directions to your home. Boy, get your... Sorry. Lay down. Why did you get drunk on a night like this? I was really stressed, you know? God help this boy come back to his sisters. Why don't you tell me? Oh, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say what? Why? Uh, don't tell me you ran out of girls to get laid by. Should I call the police? 
I've been stressed over this girl. She's too much to handle. I have no idea what girl you're talking about. She's pretty. <laughs> like, really pretty. She makes me stressed because she's so hard to get. I like to release my stress by getting drunk, you know? Did someone drug you or something? Now you're saying the most random shit. I'm just really tired. He grabbed my pillow and hugged it. I stood there staring at him like some kind of stalker. Silence fell over the room. Alex began to snore. Besides that, he was deep to sleep. He was deep asleep. I laid on the cold, hard ground. I closed my eyes and drifted off to sleep. Go out of get in that goddamn bed, child. What the hell, fucking Alexander James Parker. I woke up to a voice of thunder in my room. Okay, girl. Alexander, how many times did I tell you to stay away from her? Probably many times, but I wasn't paying attention. You have to keep a good representation of yourself for my business and stay away from tramps like these. What in the actual fuck? I'm about to cuss this motherfucking mama out, child. I'm sorry, but okay. Oh, please, mom. I steal things and get high almost every day. We're not really... I'm not really the good boy you want me to be. You need to be with someone like us. We're rich. She's just a girl that can't even dress properly. I'm sorry, but how did how did you get into my house? I can contact the police for a break-in. Carter, you shouldn't have said that. Seriously. Oh, honey, I'm one of the richest women in the country. You can't take me anywhere away, even if they want, even if they try. Well, made a fool of my damn self. And don't you dare tell me that you both slept together. No, mom, you need to calm down. You better be happy your father is at home, Carter. Why is she acting like this? It's her home. Like, what the hell, woman? Get in the limo, Alex. Your butler is waiting for you. <laughs> baby I don't like his motherfucking mama yeah I don't like his motherfucking mama I think she should have cussed her ass the fuck out point blank in the period 